Hi again guys, so today I want to talk about the um, APM um, 3D Robotics clones, okay? Now there are plenty of them floating around, um, I've even got one um, you can get uh, from Hobby King, they have one uh, which they say is based on the APM 3DR um, uh, 3D Robotics uh, uh, one, uh, there's a lot of them on eBay and they actually call them APM uh, Arducopter or Arducopter, whatever it is, uh, 2.6 or whatever, 2.9, um, and they are a lot cheaper. Okay, you can pick up um, online. I think about on eBay for about 110, 120 bucks with a GPS. It's not the the U uh, blocks uh, six Lear, uh, but it is. Um, it's the one below that. Um, but if you add that one, I think it comes to about 135 dollars. Now you compare that to the 240, 250 dollars that the 3DR is. It's you're saving 100 dollars. Um, so the question is, is it worth it? Okay, I've well, the Hobby King one. Um, is also I think with the uh, with that GPS combination comes very 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 close to those prices as well. Um, might be a bit cheaper, I'm not sure, but um, I've heard people have problems with it. Okay, with that uh, with that one, sometimes it works, some some don't. Um, and the same thing with the eBay ones. And I think the reason for that is is basically two things: it's quality control uh, on the product and the way it's put together. Um, you know what I mean by that is that the type of parts that they use, okay, quality control means the way it's put together, the way um, they check all the soldering and everything and all of that. And the other thing is basically what parts are they using, okay, um, what quality parts, okay. So that's not the quality control; that's the actual quality of the parts themselves. Now I can tell you the 3DR or 3D Robotics, I've not heard one person have an issue with it, um, apart from obvious uh, setups, okay? But what I mean is, is that there hasn't been any, any big problems with it. Um, so it is more complicated than say the DJI NASA, but so if, if you are using um, a tricopter, uh, with a tail server, you really can't use the DJI NASA, so there's APM. Also, if you want to put it on a plane or anything like that, then you're going to want to use the APM. So, is it worth getting the cheaper one? Well, it's I would say it's a risk. Um, it's a risk. Uh, I can tell you my experience. The one I got is one of the ones off eBay. Uh, the 3DR Robotics one I've got works great. The one I got off eBay. I don't know what happened. Uh, I used it on the tricopter. I'll take it up, and what the tricopter does is I'll pull elevator forward, it goes forward, I pull back, fine, side, side, no problem. Move it around, all of a sudden, uh, I'll pull backwards and it'll go this way. I'll pull forwards and it'll go this way. I'll pull left and it'll go like this. I'll pull right and it'll go like that. And, uh, and, and then I'll fly it around a bit, and all of a sudden, it goes back to normal. Now, my from what I think happens is basically the board itself inside the the box that it comes in is actually a bit loose. Uh, if you pull on the server wires, you know the board actually moves. Um, which obviously, if you fly it around and uh, and the board just gets a bit of a jitter, it could just go out of whack a bit and that's why it causes that sort of uh, misorientation so what I'm going to do is put in the uh, put in some foam in it so that it cannot move uh, at all uh, and that should fix it um, I'll, I'll keep you posted on that but this is exactly the, the point is that you're not going to have these problems uh, with um, with the 3D R, uh, 3D robotics one so again um, 
100 bucks more, you're getting a reliability, you know it's gonna work. So uh, also for airplanes, uh, same thing. If you if you get a knockoff version, it could fail. And usually when you get something like that with GPS, it's for that uh, fail safe. Uh, you don't wanna have any problems. So I would say spend the extra money. Uh, the one I've got I'm using, uh, but uh, I've also got the 3DR, uh, and I'm going to only get that one uh, from now on. And that's pretty much it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the, the two, if you've had experiences with the different ones, with the clones and the 3D Robotics. Um, leave it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Ciao.